Hey friends, Liz here with Fall and Fulfill. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. So one important thing about prepping is, you know, I have to go to the grocery store, I gotta get organized, I gotta find the time to, you know, spend some time in my kitchen. But it's really important that I'm like dressed comfy. You probably can't even see, but I'm in my leggings, I got my comfy flip flops on, comfy top, and I am ready to rock and roll and get going on my veggies and my starches. So just so you guys are aware for this meal prepping video, I will be making rice and potatoes. I already made overnight oats. I will link a video down below of how I make my overnight oats. I eat oats every single day. And then a lot of my prep is cutting my vegetables so that they're ready when I want to make a meal. I'm all about being simple and making things really, really convenient. So come along on today's video for how I'm going to prep for the week. So I got some cauliflower that I'm gonna cut up today and get that all ready. I also got large zucchini. It's springtime here and I cannot wait for my own zucchini. So I'm hoping this is my last bag this spring that I will be buying at the store because I have so much in my garden. <laughs> Also, I like just cut up carrots for sure. And I have cucumbers, so basically I'll just wash these, put them in the drawer um, and not store them in anything. And this is a great way to just be able to cut them up really quick. So that's what I have for my veggies. All right, so for fruit, let me show you what I do have for my fruit. I have my blueberries in my cute little glass container. So I'll have those for the week. I bought a few apples to have on hand. We love grapes. <laughs> we have a <laughs> Compare this to my head. Whoa, you guys. Um, but we love grapes and we will snack on these like all week, all, all week. So that is what I have for fruit for the week. We don't end up eating a lot of fruit, and if we do have fruit, it's usually frozen fruit, but springtime makes me want like a ton of lettuce and a ton of fruits. manual mode for 12 minutes. So potatoes will be rocking and rolling in the Instant Pot. Now it's time to start my rice. I'm cooking my rice and my potatoes at the same time. Time. I got my Pyrex bowls out here and I'm just gonna start cleaning the vegetables, bringing them over here to cut them and we will do veggie prep. So once again, these are already organic carrots. So I just basically decant them, meaning taking them out of their packaging into here. 
Ooh, one thing already prepped. <laughs> I shop at a Azure Standard and it's a bulk um, drop shipping um, program and like a co-op kind of. And so I picked up my order yesterday and I got a bunch of zucchini. I don't know about you, but I do not enjoy stickers on my vegetables. <laughs> I wish they left that part out. I'm gonna go wash these and I'll be back. Zucchini is probably one of my favorite vegetables of all time. It can be used for so much, I just love it. Today, which I'll show you guys actually, um, I started a worm bin for my compost. And so I'm really excited, I did it this morning. And so, you know, I compost all my scraps. So I'll have like another reason to compost, not that I don't, but just another um, resource to give the worms amazing food. So I'm pretty excited about that. You can hear the rice cooking in the back. seven cup Pyrex bowls are perfect size for most things. Like I usually get two to three bowls of them for the zucchini. In this case I got two and then I got one full bowl of cauliflower. So as you can see, I have my cauliflower and zucchini and carrots prepped. So I have some veggie broth left over from when I canned it from all of my scraps. I'm gonna make a quick soup that I can eat throughout the week. I'm gonna start with sauteing some onions. I actually had these from last week. I actually pre-cut onions and we're almost out of them, so I'll cut probably some in the next few days as we need them. So for my soup, I am just sauteing the onions with my vegetable broth until it cooks down a little bit. So now I'm just gonna add in all the veggie broth and then a little bit of smoked paprika, garlic powder. I'm making this up as I go because I wanna show you guys that you don't have to have necessarily a recipe, but just good items that are all starch solution approved to build a soup. So next I'm gonna take this mix here of vegetables, corn, peas, and carrots into here. As I was cleaning out the fridge from last week, I had pasta left. And there you have a beautiful soup that you can eat throughout the week. You 
You can hear the rice is done. I love that you guys heard everything go off because that's the potatoes. The potatoes are done. So I'm just gonna let this cook on the stove top for a little bit, get all the flavors. So while my soup is cooking, I'm actually going to press some tofu and marinate a little bit of tofu to use throughout the week. And pretty excited. I rarely eat tofu, so kind of craving it. And I will actually add some spices, I'll show you. Taking my one block of tofu here, and I'm actually going to divide it in half because I'm going to make miso soup this week, I know. So I'm gonna wanna put some tofu in the miso soup. So what I wanna do here, I wanna marinate it so I can make a meal from it later. But if you marinate it, all the spices get really tasty. So what I'm gonna do, just cutting this into strips here. This is what I'll use for later. I'm gonna use two more pieces. And then for this one, I'm actually gonna cube it. So as you can see, I'm already planning for two soups this week. is done. I'm going to add the lid onto it. Now I'm going to add in a few spices here. I'm adding in some soy sauce. And while this is in the fridge for a few days, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit so that everything does cover and marinate. So you can see I covered everything for the most part. Then here, you know, I just will shake it up a little bit. Even tomorrow, I might even put it on the sit it here. And as the week goes on, you may, you know, add in a few, you know, other things. I'm gonna add in a little bit of um, rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. And there we go. I actually canned some zucchini spaghetti sauce. So good. I'm gonna add the remaining in here. I'm gonna have to do a video with how you can make zucchini in your homemade pasta sauce. It's delicious. So this is just gonna give it more of a different flavor, a more tomato flavor. And there you go, beautiful soup, done and done. So here I have my soup done. I'm telling you, <laughs> everything fits in seven cups. That must just be like my serving size that I make. So I'll put a lid on this and store it in the fridge. And as I'm filming, here are my sidekicks. These are my youngest puppies. We have Sunny, Lucky, and Happy. <laughs> Happy definitely your name but they're kind of in the way, but I'm okay with it. All right, so the rice is done. I'm gonna open it, woo, all the steam. I'm gonna let this cool off for a little while and then I will add it to a Pyrex bowl. The key to steaming potatoes here is just to have this naturally release. So I'm gonna press this and there's still steam. I'm going to just wait a little bit longer to open this. I also baked a loaf of bread today. This is my sourdough homemade bread. So I will enjoy this throughout the week as well. I also love making homemade croutons. So I'm taking a loaf of bread that I made probably about four days ago that we just are not eating. I make a lot of bread, so we really don't get through the loaves as much as we'd like to. So I'm gonna cut this up and actually make croutons. So I'll share that with you again. My croutons, I added in a little bit of garlic and 
nutritional yeast. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of hummus in here and add in a little bit of water. Added in some water here. And I'm just gonna stir this. And then I'm gonna cut up the bread. with stirring it because if you make smaller croutons, that's okay too. And they don't need to be fully coated. They just need to have at least a little bit on here for flavor. Sometimes if you put too much, they become a little bit soggy and it's really hard to get them crispy in the air fryer. So I'm gonna cook in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes and just keep checking on them. So when I meal prep, you can kind of see I'm taking things that we didn't eat last week and making them into things this week. Also, of course, buying fresh and getting ready for the week. But I always love to have a soup, my starches, my veggies, and if I'm gonna eat fruit, have my fruit ready, and also any sauces. This week I didn't make a sauce because I actually have some pre-made sauces that I bought from the store that I just, I need to use up. So I'm not gonna make my own sauce this week. And with my um, salads, I always have coconut aminos and Dijon mustard, so I don't really need to have a salad dressing because I keep it so simple throughout the week. But I'll show you some of my sauces in my fridge. So here's my croutons going in the oven. I got my rice all done. Adding it to my Pyrex bowl. I'll let the Pyrex bowl sit out for a while so it can cool the rice before I add it to the fridge. seven cups you guys <laughs> trust me I didn't plan on this I just think this is my natural serving size so here we go a full thing of rice for the week yum 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 all right let's test this all all of the steam is out so I'm gonna take this off steamed potatoes and I always store them in this bin in my fridge so this is a staple bin that is always in my fridge and it's always <laughs> full with potatoes and if it's not I have to make I keep a lid off so I'm gonna let these cool add them into this container store in the fridge I also have my little station over here in my laundry room with my bananas for the week also some fresh tomatoes that I'm keeping out my sourdough starter and my flowers. All right, here's my fridge. I have sauerkraut homemade that I make. I also have hummus, another sauce. Um, I highly recommend this brand. My friend told me about it and I love it. And then also, I love these. So if you can find these, this is an amazing sauce. It's different varieties. So these are my sauces throughout the week. I have my grapes in the back. I also have this cabbage from last week that I'm going to eat this week. A bunch of carrots, all the things that I prepped. I also have my lettuce back here that I have from last week. It was out in my other refrigerator, so I brought it into here. My soup and my rice. Can't forget the kombucha. Then down here I have my onions and I tuck away my little cucumbers there so they don't get too cold. Then here I have my fruit. These are potatoes I haven't cooked yet. A lot of people ask me. I always store 
in the fridge. It's cool and it's dark when it's shut. Then here I have my tofu marinade and I also have these that I'll make this week. So this is all that I have. I'm just waiting for the croutons to be done. Croutons are done. Some may get a little too dark, which I don't mind. And I took a pizza sauce jar and filled it with my croutons. And here is my clean kitchen. Love a clean kitchen with a full fridge of food. It feels amazing. Beautiful view, overcast day. There's my little pups. And then this is my bread container that I store my bread in. So everything's nice and clean. So here is my compost bin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the scraps in here. And this actually breaks down these items to really small particles. It's actually a composter machine that I highly recommend if you're into composting. Worm factory bin. Open it up, I have food scraps in there. Oh, smoky in appearance. <laughs> and so I'll regulate the temperature. You can see food scraps are in here. I'm really, really excited about my worm bin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love to meal prep. It's been one of my key things that I've done to make me successful with the starch solution. And I hope that this has inspired you to get in your kitchen, have a little bit of fun with it. You don't have to follow recipes to a T. Try the food, see if you like it, add in extra things and make it fun. Make it about you and your health because food is such a beautiful, beautiful tool that we get to explore with. So enjoy the moments in your kitchen. I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of content coming your way and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time.